One of the most powerful formative assessments that is left underappreciated is anecdotal notes. For decades, teachers have continually relied on observational data to help guide student learning. There is a reason why this formative assessment tool has remained a constant for years, and that is because we know it works. Although the observation process itself is relatively easy, documenting those observations is where some teachers struggle to keep up. Good news is that now we can move away from those tedious binders full of page after page of handwritten notes, taped in pictures, and post-it note tags. We can move into the digital tools that allow you to walk around with your iPad taking pictures, videos, or written text to create a student portfolio that documents all that you would have and more if you would have been using handwritten notes. So to help us manage all of these documents and student portfolios, I would like to introduce you to Seesaw. Seesaw is a learning journal slash portfolio that students and teachers can use to track their growth and progress throughout the year. This is the perfect tool to collect all of the anecdotal notes throughout the year to share with students and parents alike. This allows you to easily see and note the progress that students are making during learning as well as student strengths and weaknesses. If you would like to work along with me during the rest of the module, take a minute to pause this video, then open up Seesaw in a new tab on your browser by going to web.seesaw.me. If you already have an account created, go ahead and log in. If you have not created an account, please do so using your Google ID. When you are ready to proceed with the module, please come back to this video and select play. Using Seesaw to take anecdotal notes is a very simple process. To begin, log into Seesaw and create a new class. On a side note, if you need help doing this, please see the WCPS online modules which give you details about how to use Seesaw. Once you've created a class and are, and are ready to begin, documenting work is as simple as the click of a button. In the top right hand corner is a large green plus sign. Once you have selected the plus sign, you can select the different types of ways you want to document learning. Let's begin with photos. Photos are a great way to take pictures of student work. Using it before, during, and after is a powerful way to show student growth. Next we have the videos. Using videos allows you to talk with students about their work, document their thinking, and learning. As you can see, you have the ability to select a specific file. On an iPad, it would say camera roll. Um, on a MacBook, it says a file. Record video also allows you to record a video right there in the moment. Next, we have the drawing tool. The drawing tool allows you to model and explain thinking. As you can see, I have a freehand pen. I have an eraser that I can erase. And I also have a tool that allows me to label drawings or diagrams so that you can provide students with feedback after you have taken a picture of their work or if you and the student have created something together, you're able to go in and label it for them to see. You can change the style of the text, you can delete it, and you can bring it to the front just in case you have a picture in the background. Next, you have the upload file which on an iPad actually says camera roll. So this allows you to bring in things that you have already created or photos you have already taken to the site. Next we have notes. In this space you could use notes to document discussions, student work, engagement, and collaboration. And finally we have a link. Links allow you to provide students with other digital tools and websites that students can use to explore and expand their current learning. All of these digital tools are able to be posted to individual students' pages by just simply clicking on their name, or you can post to the class feed, which allows your entire class to see whatever you have posted. If you post to the classroom feed, students can respond to one another's work and add additional feedback for students to consider. Please pause the video to explore all of the tools that you and the students are able to use with Seesaw. As you are exploring, think about how you can use the data collected to change instruction for specific students. When you are ready to conclude the module, please come back to this video and select play. Take a minute to reflect on what you have learned about Seesaw. 
When using Seesaw, what tools are available for teachers to use to record anecdotal notes about students during learning? Photo, video, drawing, camera roll, notes, or links, or all of the above. If you selected all of the above, you are correct. In closing, being able to document what students are learning is so important to teaching, but having students document their own learning makes anecdotal notes even more powerful. Not only are you to able to document what you think about students' progress in Seesaw, but students are able to reflect on what they have accomplished so far in their learning. Using Seesaw empowers both teachers and students to document the learning that is happening each and every day.